we're going to build a trailer to be pulled behind mountain bike. Um, that's why I have a road bike up and shed that we can grab and test it out with that too. We're going to make this thing a single wheel trailer and it'll have a, a vertical pin for rotation here. Here we're using mostly uh, just scraps and cutoffs of, of uh, previous metal projects. But uh, these little plates here, little flat plates, they're going to be, we're going to drill out a hole and cut a slot here to go on a quick release rear tire of the trailer. Then we're going to screw this to uh, boards coming up the front. The box or the body of the trailer is going to be built completely out of wood, so it's lighter and it's a lot cheaper than steel and aluminum. And then the front here, we're going to use small pool ladder support. They're going to clamp onto the rear triangle of the bike with some uh, gear clamps. And then from those, we'll go back to using this. And we're going to extend those back here, and this will be our rotating thing. And so this was our journey of how we made a bike trailer. We had many different ideas and revisions, but this was how we made the trailer. I'm thinking uh, if we have, obviously this can be a lot shorter, maybe like that long. And then um, a piece come off of here like that. So down here, we'd have it along here, but then you come up to the axle bolt there. So then I was gonna drill a clearance hole in that. Problem being, my road bike, has a disconnect lever like what's on that one so it'd stick out even further which might cause the back end to uh to move like this and rub against the tire so yeah, it would not work out um good thing is most bikes are very similar in their design of the rear triangle here that little section there is what's going to be bent out and those ones with the x's are going to be the parts that stick out towards you. See, they're not, they're not perfect, but they will definitely do the job. So what size are you looking for specifically? Well, it's 310 thousandths of an inch. The bolt for the tire? Yeah, this one's 300 and 29th now roughly so this one would be probably the closest we could go it'd allow a tiny bit of clearance uh do you want to put a pilot hole in this or oh yeah okay we can't jump right into that i mean you could <laughs> struggle i don't know how sharp these bits are either because we got a little quick punch mark there set that up There we go. And now the drill bit will definitely not wander. So when it goes in there, it'll sit inside that and then it won't drift around as it tries to grab a hold. Okay, so I'll admit that we kind of got into the project a little too much and kind of forgot to film explaining what we were doing. After we finished making the small parts, the little attachments, we then got on to the bigger task, which was making the swing arm. After finishing the swing arm, we started working on the body of the trailer.
Once we finished the bottom of the trailer, we soon noticed that it wasn't square, so we had to start over. After fixing what we had messed up, we made the faceplate connecting the swing arm to the trailer, making it way stronger than it needed to be, but this is what we did. After completing that, we then just ended up saying, yeah, this looks about right, so this is our final product.